Federal incorporation and extra provincial registration. How do these two processes uh, relate to each other? At which point do we as business owners have to register our corporation extra provincially? And what does the process entail? Hi and welcome back again, me Eugene from CBS, Canadian Business and Enterprise Services. And today the short video just to clarify the topic a bit and uh, reduce the confusion that many of our clients have with regards to the extra provincial registration and its meaning, especially when you incorporate federally and I'll show you in a moment. So first of all, what is an extra provincial registration? Essentially, uh, there are laws in every single province in Canada that require a corporation operating active business in that province to register there and to obtain a local provincial registration. What it means is that every single province where our business has business active business operations, we will have to register so we can end up operating a corporation with multiple provincial registrations. And what is important to understand, and I'll talk about it today separately, that extra provincial registration does not create a new corporation. It registers your existing corporate entity to operate in each of those provinces, but it does not create a new legal entity, and I'll explain and show today how it works and why. So, first we need to deal with the extra provincial registration when we do federal incorporation, because the corporation must be registered in at least one province where it operates its business. The taxation system in Canada is based on the combination of federal and provincial portions and essentially when we file our corporate income tax return, we declare in which province we generated the income for which we declare the uh, tax and uh, pay the tax rate applicable to that province. So essentially the uh, corporate, just like a personal income tax, consists of the federal and provincial portions and provincial portions could be very different from one province to another and that's why we have to register extra provincially and uh, especially when we have multiple uh, provinces where we operate our business. So when we do the initial federal incorporation, we are being offered um, to register our company in three provinces. In Ontario, Nova Scotia and Newfoundland and Labrador, these provide for the very easy, straightforward, smooth process of registration as a part of initial federal incorporation. Ontario is even for free, each of other provinces require their own fees, but that's what you do together with your incorporation and you move on. All other provinces will require you to register your corporation with them separately. So you first complete the federal incorporation, you get your articles of incorporation, you get your documents, you get your business number, and then you go and you register it in the province where you had offices located. Now, provinces like British Columbia, let's say, will allow you to do it online. The process is a little bit more streamlined, while the um, Alberta, for example, will require you to go and physically attend one of the service provider's locations and file the registration documents there. And that should be done promptly after we complete the incorporation and as soon and even before we start our business operations um, in that province. And the second situation when we have to register extra provincially is when we uh, operate already existing business and the business grows and we have active business operations in the province uh, other than the initial jurisdiction of incorporation. As soon as we do that, we have to go and register our business in that province to get the extra provincial registration, to get the uh, corporation number issued by that province. And it should be definitely done before the end of the fiscal year, end of your corporation, because that will affect the taxation that you will be reporting on your annual tax returns. So what does it mean having business operations? In my opinion, and there are absolutely no definition of it in the law, uh, you will see active business operations or just business operations depending on which province you look at, but they do not provide examples. In my opinion, um, active business operations will have having an office in that province, so physical locations where your people, your employees work operating production or manufacturing facility in that province, even when you had offices located in another uh, province. Warehouse, again, leased, rented by your corporation and operated in another province to distribute your products there. Uh, having employees uh, offering products and services on a constant permanent basis in that province, that in my opinion will constitute active business operations 
will mean that you generate income or you create various tax liabilities in that province that you will have to comply with and they will require you to register extra provincial in that uh, province. The following, in my personal opinion, will not constitute active business operations. So mailing products to customers that are located in a different province will not uh, constitute. Sending your staff to provide services on a temporary, occasional basis. So let's say you have a client that requires certain repair to be performed in a province other than where you are located and where you are registered and you send a technician to perform the repairs and come back to, to your original location. Same thing visiting your clients. So let's say you, you have a client that needs certain consulting and you would go there or you would send your consultants there to collect information, intakes, and then come back to your head office to provide the services, to prepare the documents, to prepare the consulting uh, results of your service. Operating through uh, e-commerce distribution. So let's say you have an office in Ontario, but Amazon distributes your products across Canada from its warehouses that have nothing to do with you personally or your corporation, it's just they decide where to distribute it from. Uh, those, I think, will not constitute active business because you do not operate any active real business in the provinces by being there occasionally, temporary, short term, without permanent presence. Now, what does it mean to have a uh, extra provincial registration for a corporation? First of all, and that is important, it does not create a new company. So you do not uh, create new legal entity. Hence, you do not limit the liabilities. You do not separate liabilities from province to province. If that's what you want to achieve, extra provincial registration is not a solution. You have to go and incorporate a new corporation, either provincially with the register uh, with the province where you want to operate or federally with the provincial registration in that new province, whatever you prefer, but just extra provincial registration of your existing business does not create a new legal entity. You will get the provincial corporation number, which is different and separate from your already existing provincial corporation number, but that you need only for the taxation purposes, nothing else. And it does not result in a new business number of your corporation if you still have certain confusion between business number, corporation number, and provincial corporation number. Watch my video on the topic of the business number. The link will be here in above and in the description uh, section below. And uh, you will be able to understand a little bit better how it works and what are the relations between these two numbers. So what are requirements for registration? As you can imagine, they would be different from province to province. Some will require presence of a local director, some attorney, some agent for a receipt of the legal documents. Most will require a, a physical location address, not PO box, in the province where you want to uh, process the extra provincial registration for a corporation. And that assumes because you have active business presence there, you would have some kind of physical location to operate your business. And of course, each province will require you to pay fees Ontario, by the, by the way, is free only with the federal incorporation. If you want to register later on, you already will have to pay separate fees for the Ontario government for extra provincial registration. So I uh, hope this clarifies the topic of extra provincial registration. When you have active business in other province of your initial jurisdiction, when you um, have presence of your office employees, agents on a permanent constant basis, you have to do it. You do not create a new corporation. You do not get a new business number. You do get additional corporation number from that province that you will be using for your annual tax return. So again, thank you for being with me today. Eugene from CBS, Canadian Business and Enterprise Services. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, help our channel to grow, to get uh, known to other clients that might have these questions and have difficulties to find the answers and uh, leave your comments in the section below i will try to answer most of them that's what i usually do and if you have suggestions for additional topics please let me know and i will um, try to do my best to come up with uh, either your suggested topics or with my new and again good luck with your business and i'll see you soon